Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about why I decided to make a shark film. The whole idea really started with the location. I have a house on the coast of Ecuador in a small little fishing town uh, called Playas that I visit every year. Now this is not your typical beach town, as in there's not a lot of tourists, or at least not a lot of international tourists. There are people from other parts of Ecuador visiting, uh, but you know, not a lot of foreigners. So the idea really started because I wanted to show our little town of Playas. Uh, over the years I've shot various camera tests there, but I've never had a chance to actually show a full story. Bueno, entonces, ¿cuál es el plan para hoy? Pensaba en relajarnos y no hacer nada. ¿Cómo? Me traje vacaciones y no piensas hacer nada. When I started writing the script, the first idea I had was about a couple that ends up going to our little town for vacation, uh, but is a little bit bored, not really sure what to do. Uh, so then, of course, I needed for something to go wrong. If you really think about it, uh, without anything going wrong, you, you have no story. So every story that's ever been told throughout the ages, regardless of the format, really starts with that premise. Something goes wrong, and then the characters in your story have to overcome that problem or whatever it is that there goes wrong, they have to find a solution to it. So in my story, it was kind of natural that we're located in this fishing town, a lot of fishing boats, uh, and a lot of people going out, out there on boats, whether to fishing or just for recreation. I knew that it just makes sense for the characters to, one way or another, end up out there on a boat. And then just to add a little extra element of suspense, you could say, I decided to add a shark into it. So you could really say that my film is about people that get stuck on a boat and a shark happens to be in the film. But it's definitely not the main focus of the story and the shark is also not the main character. Now, talking about sharks, uh, personally, I've swam in a lot of places where there are a lot of sharks and actually a lot of shark attacks. In that little town where we filmed, there actually happens to be, well, I, I had never heard actually of a shark attack. I know there have been shark sightings, but no actual attacks. And I also you know, know that most films portray sharks as these sort of monsters or eating machines that are just brainless, you know, swimming around eating anything that comes across. Uh, so I definitely didn't want to do that in my film. Sharks are really just animals living out through their compulsions. They're not uh, going out there thinking, who can I kill today? In fact, most shark encounters that people have are actually friendly. But if you happen to come across a shark that's really hungry or maybe you're bleeding on top of that, uh, and also, you know, let's say if you have like some shiny objects on you, jewelry and things like that, and especially if it's like really early or late hours, like dusk or dawn, where you have a lot of long shadows, then the chance of a shark confusing you for their food source uh, is just increases that much more. But even in those cases, most sharks will end up, you know, taking a little bite, which could end up being fatal, but usually is not. And then the moment that they taste human flesh, most sharks leave uh, people alone. I guess we're just not as delicious as you might think. Go figure. What? So that's really how I started with my idea and wrote the script for my film titled Shark Bait. Uh, hopefully you guys are interested and you want to see the whole film and also the making of it. Ah, that was our safety device yesterday. Here's our shark. Behind the scenes for YouTube. Real, real police officer. Camera operator slash this is what he does <laughs> after work to make extra money. <laughs> Give me some bills. <laughs> yeah. so that's the kind of people we're working with. Filming it was fun, uh, almost hilarious. Uh, but also scary, very scary. In my next video about the making of shark bait, I'll share with you guys exactly how I shot this film and how you can do something similar uh, even if you've got little or no money. And I'll also be doing more videos after that about the post-production process, the, all the special effects to be able to create the shark in my film. Uh, so if you guys are interested, definitely subscribe and uh, you know make sure you come back and check out uh, my website at tomantosfilms.com for any updates regarding my film Sharkbait. Uh, thank you guys, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!